everybody, it's Malls, and I'm back today with a thrift haul. It's a very small one. I just went, I got back like an hour and a half ago, and I went to that church thrift store that I go to, or the Christian thrift store. They have really decent prices, and I saw that some of the things that they had that I was like going to get were kind of expensive, so I was careful with like what I bought. And I got some good stuff. I'm super excited. I got things for myself and things to resell. And I won't be sharing the prices, but I will be doing another What Sold video because I know some of you guys like those um, or, you know, commented saying you liked it. I will be sure to do another one for the month of June and I'll do it for like the entire month, not just for like a week or something. I'll do it for an entire month. So yeah, I have a few more videos coming up, um, not just about Poshmark and reselling. It'll be like fashion stuff that I have in the past on my channel and yeah so without further ado let's get started and also if you do see like a pile of clothes on the side over here it's all of my laundry I've been doing a ton just to see like what I still wear what I don't wear and then I can resell it if I want to I always bring a reusable bag because I try not to use plastic um and if I do get a plastic bag, I always reuse it for like trash or something but I always make sure I have one and my trusty one is my free people one. It fits actually quite a bit of stuff and it looks like a little hobo bag. It's like my favorite thing ever. I'm also speaking very fast because I just chugged a bunch of coffee and it's almost like 7.30, which probably isn't good, but <laughs> it's okay. So first, I was super shocked to find these. Um, I went to shoes last and these are some Minnetonka moccasins. Um, so I live in Minnesota. We have Minnetonka here that originated in Minnesota. Um, I love me some Minnetonka moccasins. I have some similar to these that my sister Loren thrifted for me at a place called Opitz. If you guys live in Minnesota, you probably know what Opitz is. Opitz with a Z, um, is where I got actually all of my, like, dance, um, like, school dance dresses. Um, because it's more of a higher-end thrift store, kind of consignment store. And they happen to have like really great deals and they have super nice things. So I've gotten a few of my favorite shoes there. Um, and she got me a pair of mock um, Minnetonkas for like $13 and they're super cute. They have the nice like plastic bottom or rubber bottom, um, rubber soles. And then it's just, this is totally something I would wear. They are luckily my size. Um, they're a size nine and these things, oh my gosh. Minnetonka moccasins are made so nice that they last for a very long time. These are in super good condition, which I was excited for. And they were $6.99, which in Minnesota we don't have sales tax, so um, or clothing tax. So I think this, um, I think that these count. I could be because they're like an accessory, so I don't think that there is tax on us. Yeah, there is. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But I thought these were super cute. Um, might keep them for myself, might resell them. I already told you guys the price, so <laughs> I might keep these for myself, but they might show up in my Poshmark closet after I get somewhere. Just to let you guys know how good Minnetonkas like sell for, um, I had these fringe boots that my sister Sarah had, and then she gave them to me. And I've sold a lot of hand-me-downs on Poshmark, which is crazy, but... I did and they were totally worn pieces but people still bought them. I had these Minnetonka boots, they're my favorite, they were so cute, they still sell the same style and um, we actually got those at the church sale that we go to at our church every year. She got those there, wore them all the time, then she gave them to me because they were like sevens. I wore them all the time through like all through middle school, I brought them with me to New York when I went for the first time, like I wore them all the time, wore them to high school. And then I just sold them one, um, it was my first thing I sold on Depop last summer. So yeah, I sold them for $35, which is pretty good, a pretty good flip. Um, and I got plenty of wear on them, so I know that these will sell good too, or the other ones if I happen to sell those. So that's just a little tip for you guys. If you find Minnetonka moccasins in decent shape, I'd still get them. Maybe take like a suede brush to them if they need it. Um, you can get suede erasers for like super cheap, so yeah then oh my gosh i'm so excited you guys know i love selling torrid and i have not found torrid for about two months um if i did find it it was either way overpriced or it was kind of like uh like is it in good condition is it not and i just pass on it but this thing is so cute and it's just a simple black like open knit sweater it's a size 3x i wish i could keep this for myself but it'd be quite oversized on me and i just think Oh my gosh, whoever gets this, they're going to love it and it's going to look adorable on them. It's such a good piece, especially for the summertime. 
it's open knit so it's going to breathe a little bit more than a you know cable knit sweater or something so i listed this already because the plus size party is going on on poshmark right now then this was an exciting find i was like oh this is kind of cute and then i look at it and it's a fabletics it won't zoom in because i don't have auto zoom on this camera but it's fabletics and it's their liza romper it's so cute it's an extra large and this will be so cute for the summer um, found stock photos pretty easily listed it already so I got that I'm so excited for whoever gets this it's such a cute piece and it's fabletics <laughs> then these last two things are for me as well so I got this top that is by rain um, I feel like I've seen this brand somewhere but I'm not sure size medium it's a very flowy boho top totally like me I don't own anything like this so I tried it on I loved it um, struck some model poses in the mirror, you know, just casual things. And there was actually no tag on it. When I picked it up, there was a tag and it must have fallen off. So, um, I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I know you, like some thrift stores are really picky. And she's like, oh, it's fine. She's like, I was the one that hung this up anyways. I'll give it to you for $3. <laughs> Got that for three. And since this is for me as well, I'll tell you guys the price. This was $5.99. I think this is probably from like Shein or maybe a boutique and it's just such a cute like tunic dress it's actually long enough on me i'm 5'9 almost 5'10 so um and i have like a little bit of a booty um from my dad's side so it's hard for me to like find a dress that's not going to like show everything when i bend over to pick something up or when i want to do the bend and snap i think i dropped something on the floor that i need to pick up so you bend like I just don't want everything to like come out there so yeah and it's really cute it has this like crochet detail um, and it's um, actually lays perfectly so like I can still not have to wear like a top underneath and I won't show my underwear or anything like that but yeah this is $5.99 I paid up for this but I thought it was really cute and I don't really own anything that's navy so I was like just do it <laughs> so that was actually everything I got on um, just a quick haul of stuff um, two things to resell. I want to do a come thrift with me. So if you guys want to see that just let me know down below I'm gonna fight my anxiety and do it anyways Because I think that they're really fun. I've done a few in the past But they're kind of just goofy clips and it wasn't anything super like serious So if you guys do want to see a real one of me just like showing you guys what I'm finding like my process just let me know and I'll totally do that for you guys. Um, and maybe I'll do one with some of my friends or something. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. My goal is 300 by um, mid-June, the end of this month kind of area. So that'd be fabulous. I'm almost there. Thank you so much if you've subscribed. Um, I, I see you guys. I get the notifications. And I'm so thankful for you for stopping by and taking the time to subscribe. That does mean so much to me. I've been on YouTube for quite some time. And since I'm taking it more seriously... Um, seeing that I'm growing now is just such an exciting uh, thing for me and yes yeah, so if you want to continue with me on my journey then hit that subscribe button comment like um, let me know your closet or your shop down below I'll be sure to follow you share some stuff like some stuff and yeah thank you so much again for watching much love bye